All right, Sean, you might remember last year before the pandemic struck, there was a major effort to decrease vaping after a surge in vaping related lung injuries. Yeah, and now new research is reviving that effort, especially in light of our current situation. Dr. Frank Me George here with a closer look. Frank. There is growing concern that smoking and vaping can possibly increase a person's chances of contracting COVID-19 and can lead to more serious outcomes. Researchers are still trying to zero in on the reasons why, but the implications are clear. New links between smoking and vaping and COVID-19. Researchers looking at proteins called ACE2 receptors that serve as entry points for coronavirus. Smokers often have more than non-smokers. Clearly patients with lung disease, smokers, do worse and the connection is that ACE2 receptors. Pulmonary specialist Dr. Zab Mozenafar says smokers who do contract the virus tend to get sicker and may have an increased chance of being hospitalized or placed on a ventilator. Stop smoking, help us help you. It's a plea echoed by health experts nationwide who say no age group is safe. A Stanford University School of Medicine study shows young people who vape are more likely to contract coronavirus than non-users. If you have ever used an electronic cigarette, you are five times more likely to be diagnosed with COVID-19. The American Lung Association launching a new campaign encouraging parents to talk to their kids about the dangers of vaping. Conversations that are especially important right now, says pediatric pulmonologist Dr. Christy Sadromelli. Doing something that could hurt your lungs right now in the time of a respiratory disease pandemic is just not a great idea. The pandemic providing even more reason to kick the habit for good. There's also concern about smoking and vaping in those who have survived COVID-19. Given that there may be lingering damage in the lungs, smoking or vaping after COVID may be even more risky than before. Back to you. All right, Frank, in addition to warning teenagers and young adults about the dangers of vaping, Stanford researchers noted they hope their findings will prompt the FDA to further tighten regulations on how vaping products are sold to young people.